amazing the whole the whole experience I am so glad that I've done this walk though <sighs> I mean I've wanted to do it a couple years ago when I when I was cycling I didn't have a vehicle then and buses are not very good they're not often enough and they end early in the day so I had to wait until I got a vehicle again to be able to, to, be able to get out here and enjoy this I mean I've had to drive all the way from Weston <sighs> to come over here but it's worth it it really is worth it right over and out if you right then here we are at the crossroads again I came up along the coast from Kilf that way earlier I'm going back now to, to Kilf via the um, East Quantock Head footpath but I noticed this feature earlier here I've just come down from up there I went up on the head there um, this is an old kiln I think it's what it looks like to me quite a large one as well I think this might be one of the bigger ones I've ever seen with some more buildings behind there's probably tubes hidden under there but this has got the shape of a kiln so that's what that is as far as I know but I will look it all up you can see the these structures to support it um, what are they called does it begin with B they um, they support some um, churches as well buttresses that's it but it's buttressed I'm half expecting to see about 20 well, not 20 a good 12 people but I don't know if they're actually going to come this way I don't know if they're going to come this way I just got to put this down a minute while I take a stone out of my shoe Yee Sheila Got a bit of a stone in the shoe. It's been a beautiful walk everyone. Thoroughly enjoying it. Thoroughly enjoying it. There's a wild area here. Yeah. Yeah, I had to climb right up on the peak of that bit a minute ago there are warning signs for you not to lean over and all that so people being people we all get curious um, let me just oh. oh I'll just walk with it out for a minute wait till I put pictures on again then I'll do it up so I, I wanted to do this little walk this particular little lane looked really interesting I come back to do it over there you've got the manor house like I said all the land round here was left by William the Conqueror in the past to knights who supported him not knights, barons who supported him when he invaded England took over England he hadn't really invaded it as such he'd been known in the country before through other relatives that have already been over here English ones, Edward the Confessor and all that oh. yeah I seen this little lane and I thought I'll come back and do that so I'm going to do a little bit of video and I will turn off every now and again take a picture and then come back on again I just have to remember to join the videos up some of them can be very short and I mustn't erase them thinking oh that's too short well I have done before now and it actually could have been 30 seconds of brilliance that I got rid of I would be skirting that wood according to the map but I just thought I fancy coming down this little lane for some reason I can imagine my sister Jude once again being here and saying to you it's a far more interesting lane to come down this way Come down this way, Sheila. <sighs> so 
It's beautiful, isn't it? We'll count up cows in there. I know I, they love this place, you know, my, my sister and her husband. <sighs> Loved it. They moved from Bath so they could be down here. I can feel I can feel with Jude again. I can feel her now. I can feel her walking here. It's getting stronger. I haven't always felt it. I haven't been back to Holford since she died. I've been there before she died, just before. But I can feel I can feel her presence. Her spirit. She said to me before she died, I've got a strong spirit, Sheila. She has. She sent me little notes telling me she loved me. And I feel her now. Telling me to come out and enjoy this. Don't leave it too long. And she knows I'm always exploring, but I've taken a long time to come here. Right, over and out for a moment.